very quick caveat straight off the bat before we even get started on today's vlog. I am not a medical professional. If you need medical advice, there are some links below. But the caveat is, I am not giving you medical advice. Just be wary of that. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is a very special, a very urgent vlog uh, that I'm going to put out there. I said I was going to wait for the 10,000 subscribers until I moved. We're getting very, very close to the 10,000 subscribers, so please do like and subscribe for this video. Very, very important. But even more important is talking about the impact of coronavirus and some advice that I could possibly give you as a saxophone player um, in what you maybe want to do. First of all, to safeguard your health and the health of your family when you're playing the saxophone, uh, but then also some other things such as the economic impact this is having. For example today I'm only able to make this vlog for you because a concert that I had has been cancelled I've also lost two other gigs as we're looking at it and gigs that are going into April and May are already saying be prepared to be cancelled a gig that should have been taking place at the end of May which I've basically done all the work for that I told you about in a previous vlog has been canned but let's just talk about some hints and tips that I've got for you and me as saxophone players Now obviously for saxophone players this is probably the prime problem and so I would strongly urge you that you get some, I mean obviously I've got antibacterial wipes, I'm aware that it's a virus not an anti not a bacteria but I just think cleanliness is definitely really important here so I would suggest you keep some antibacterial wipes in your saxophone case if you can and certainly that you wash your hands before you start playing and you give your mouthpiece a really really good clean before you start playing and then after you finish playing. I'm going to wipe the horn down before I start playing, simply because I don't want to where my hands have been, and obviously you should wash your hands, it's good kind of advice as we go. Reeds are of course a breeding ground for all sorts of nasty things. I don't know really what else we can do. We've obviously got to play reeds. I wouldn't recommend necessarily soaking the reeds in alcohol. Some people might want to do that, but generally good hygiene rules as as, all, as normal times anyway, don't go sharing reeds and certainly don't go sharing mouthpieces. Roberto's Woodwinds in New York brought out some guidance. Uh, this week uh, via email uh, suggesting they were not going to allow people to play test horns. Uh, very, very sensible advice. I mean, it's massive. It's going to make a huge impact what we do on this. Certainly, I hope, going to change some attitudes about hygiene anyway. But as saxophone players, we do need to be more aware of what's going on. So certainly, if you're in a school band, no sharing of mouthpieces, no sharing of reeds. You know, you play one reed, you get it cleaned, you know, you wash it down afterwards. And certainly, if you're in a school environment in the band, I mean, I don't know. I mean, as I say, I'm not a medical professional. Um, but certainly, sitting there sort of blowing hot air over each other does not seem like such a good idea. If you are infected, you are supposed to self-isolate anyway. I mean, that's the general advice. Um, if you're fit and healthy, you've got to keep playing. But I mean, you've got to be, you want to watch yourself because you don't know who else you're playing next to. My final piece of advice in terms of playing the saxophone, of course, is I would strongly, strongly urge you to pack the instrument away when you finish playing. Now, that's a good idea for most people anyway. I've got to admit though, as a teacher and as myself, I do tend to leave the horns out, as you've probably seen in the past. Why do I do that? Because I want to be able to, I don't want to have a barrier there to playing. I want to see the horn out and I want to pick it up and blow it. And that often more, happens more often than not. I mentioned before that when I, you know, gosh, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, probably now, when I had my flat, I used to stick my tenor right next to the TV because that way I wouldn't sit on the sofa watching TV. I'd get my saxophone out. And maybe if you're, in a position where you are self-isolated, it's not a bad idea. But the reason I suggest packing it away, especially if you're fit and healthy at the moment, is if it's in its case, there's less chance of it becoming in contact with any airborne stuff that's going around. So by all means, have it out and play it. Follow those precautions I've just shown you by wash, cleaning the mouthpiece out first, wiping the horn down before you start playing it. Washing your hands is really, really important. But after you finish playing, same reverse thing. Play it, put the instrument away, clean it put it in its case, see, you know, it's pretty much sealed down, wash your hands, and then you pretty much can carry on as normal. Certainly don't stop playing. I think that's really, really important. There are definitely ways we can get around it. Um, and I'm gonna get some practice done now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, obviously, unless you're in loo roll sales or, you know, kind of antibacterial wipes, economically, this is going to be tough as well, especially for musicians and those who are and actors and artists, those who earn their living from performing. Um, a good chunk of my income does come from performing. And as I said, I should have been performing today. But there are ways you can help. For example, you could book a Skype lesson, either with me or with another music teacher. I've been teaching by Skype for 10 years now and you know there's a testimonial page here on the Cambridge Saxophone website where you know my Skype students will tell you that you know even though they're not particularly tech savvy themselves I've been able to help them through it work with it and it works you know and it did require quite a bit of adjustment you can't teach the same way on Skype as you can in person but one of the emails I'm going to be sending out shortly is to all my people who come for studio lessons to say look I'm very sorry we're all going to be on Skype for the next few weeks just until this all settles down and we know what the advice is and actually probably not a bad idea for people to have a, um, an idea of how Skype works because it may come to the point where we are on lockdown and we can't do anything else but Skype tuition. We're certainly going to have plenty of time on our hands. Uh, one of the things that I'm proposing to do is to extend my Patreon. Now Patreon is a good idea because unlike um, kind of formal tuition which you know you have to, it's not cheap, um, Patreon you for just two pounds, two dollars a month you can have access to my feed and I am going to commit right now to putting more stuff onto Patreon. So at the moment there's some live gig recordings there, you can uh, listen to some and they're exclusive to Patreon, I don't share them anywhere else, just to my patrons. There are saxophone lessons there for the second tier, we're working through the Surrey with the Fringe on Top Transcription project that I'm working through with my students on Cambridge Saxophone. And Cambridge Saxophone is another place you can go, uh, I have platinum membership options available there, you basically pay one fee and you have 24-7, 365 day a year access to all of my 400 award-winning video lessons. There's covering everything there from putting the saxophone together to advanced John Coltrane harmony and kind of more transcription projects. So I would definitely say you know, there's opportunities there, given this change of circumstances. I don't like these opportunities. I would ra far rather be out there playing gigs because that's what I believe I was put on this earth to do. But We've all got to kind of pull together and you know, I'm also going to be putting a playlist. There are some playlists on the Cambridge Saxophone website. I am going to share and I'm going to commit to you right now, every day through this crisis for the next two weeks or a month or however long it lasts, I'm going to post a new playlist of somebody uh, to my Patreon feed uh, for you guys to share. It will be a Spotify and a, an Apple Music link there. Um, let's use this time wisely to learn some more. I'm going to share some YouTube videos. I'm, going to, I'm just going to start dedicating myself every day because it's going to be more difficult to make videos for you all the time, um, but I'm dedicating it to, to Patreon. And all I'm asking for is £2 a month. If half of you who subscribe to me can pay two pounds a month onto my Patreon. Not only will it help me and my family, but I'm going to be able to help other musicians because I'm going to ask some of my friends who are more predisposed to performing. I'm going to ask them to do some video lessons or some kind of other content. We might play some duets. I mean, it's ages since I did that one with Miko in, in Sweden and we, we played a duet over, over Skype. You know, we, we took a little bit of jiggery pokery, but we did it. Um, so I want to be able to use the skills I've got, use the technology and, and, and the subscriber base I've got with you guys to help other musicians as well but I can only do that through Patreon. YouTube does not provide a decent enough income stream for me to get anywhere near. I don't break even on YouTube, I'm still making a loss. Um, so Patreon is a way that you can help uh, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you loads and loads of content, more saxophone lessons, more things. Ask me some stuff, we'll put some more stuff on Patreon. I'm still going to be making YouTube videos, don't worry, I'm still going to be here on YouTube. But Patreon just enables me to, um, to just raise a little bit more money to be able to um, you know, to share that content. Uh, and also, like I say, I really want to help other musicians, particularly my friends and colleagues who are, you know, are, are performers, because they are really, really going to struggle through this. If once, you know, theatres close the end of this week, schools are closing, there's no sick pay, there's no provision at the minute from the government to cover this. Um, it's going to be really, really tough. So just a tiny little amount can just help people get through this.
One of the things we've been advised to do in the UK is to make sure we wash our hands for 20 seconds. Some people have said by singing happy birthday twice that gives you 20 seconds. Other people sing God Save the Queen, very patriotic. I decided to be a little bit more jazz and I'm going to propose that we all do a little bit of extra saxophone practice or a little bit of extra standard practice and you can do all the things you are. The head and a break, I reckon in 20 seconds if you play it slowly enough. Well, quickly enough, we'll find out in a second. But one of the things I wanted to do, a number of you have been asking that you help me save this link. And uh, so I've decided to pop the link back on. Hopefully I've got a read that'll work with it. And I'm going to play all the things you are for you for 20 seconds as a little thing. So you know how to wash your hands to this track with the link that you helped save. <laughs> That's like 40 odd seconds, so you're going to get double the dosage of your hand wash uh, by doing all the things you are. Definitely brighter than the Sios, and again I'd probably have to spend more time going back and trying to sort reads out because I found a read setup that really works on my Sios, and having not really played the link for a while. Um, it's definitely got an edgier sound to it. This feels like there's a hell of a lot more power behind it. Feels a little weird finishing a vlog while still in daylight, but obviously the days are getting longer, but I just wanted to get this video out there. As I've said at the very start of the video, this is not kosher medical advice as such. There are links below there to WHO articles and some other articles that friends have shared with me. Stay safe, everybody. Um, practice those good hygiene rules. Things are going to change quickly. Um, we need to look out for each other. We need to help each other. You know, if you've got people um, within your community, within your family who are having to self-isolate, please see what you can do to help them. Um, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to hope we're going to get out the other side of this. Uh, and, you know, I was sent to Derek on Friday night after our gig then. Who knows when we're going to be able to get out there and play again. Uh, which made me really value Friday's performance and yeah but there are other ways and I, I said ages ago with Patreon I wanted to make this live lounge I wanted to be able to communicate with you guys worldwide uh, but I do want to get out there and play locally again soon because there's something very special about making music for people in the room stay safe subscribe uh, check out these other videos and I'll see you really soon